Catalytic converters are a hot price ticket on the black market, and it's becoming a quickly growing problem here in Pierce County when it comes to their theft. However, some of the technicians here have showed us some ways that people are trying to prevent these from getting their hands on their converters. Pierce County has seen a dramatic rise in catalytic converter thefts. Authorities say thieves are going after the converters because of the metals they're made of. And removing a converter is apparently pretty simple. They can take a saza and make a cut right here in a matter of seconds and up here same way. And the same with this other side also. Just cut it here, cut it here, and it drops right up down to the ground and they're gone in a matter of a minute or two. So how can this be stopped? One possible solution is a shield. The idea is if the converter is harder to get to, that may prevent thieves from trying. You put the shield from here, bolt it here, bolt it here, and run it straight across the vehicle back over to here, a real thick metal shield, then they can't get up in there and cut. And as more converters go missing, this may turn into a necessary expense. Have you seen more people coming into here asking to get these shields or? Some people, yeah, but a lot of people don't know they're out there yet. Okay. So as it's becoming more and more prevalent, you probably see more commercials on TV for them, more places are gonna advertise they do it. One thing to keep in mind is that these are deterrents. They're not foolproof. And if your vehicle sits higher up off the ground, that makes the converters more accessible. So the Pierce County Sheriff's Department is advising people to park their vehicles in garages. And if they can't do that, to park them in well-lit areas. And another thing that people can do is actually engrave their VIN number numbers into their converters so they can be ID'd if they're ever stolen. For now, we're live in Tacoma, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.